I, 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 I say all the time that uh, the way to be a good employee is just say yes and do everybody else's job. Mm-hmm. That was me. Mm-hmm. I never cared. I don't care if you come to work. I'll do all of your work for you and not care about doing all of your work for yeah. you. I want the next day and say, Jesse never comes to work right. and this yeah. is crap I have to cover for. Right. I didn't care if anybody came to work. I wouldn't even noticed if everybody came to work. <laughs> Literally, I would do the job of everybody. So without even knowing that I was Superman, I, you know, I always yeah. had this opinion and it allowed me to uh, escape all of that all of that bad energy, all of those bad attitudes, all of that commiseration that goes on, right. which is really a dam that you're setting up for yourself that stops you from learning. Uh, and so a good employee, and I learned a ton because I didn't care what mm-hmm. anyone else did. I just did my job, and then if I need to do yours, I did it yours without it, without any hatred or love one way or the other for you. Yeah. I'm, I'm here. I can do it. I'm yeah. just going to do as much as humanly possible. Yep, I, I would agree with that. I, I tend to do the same thing. I, I've got kind of a, I don't know if I'm singly focused, but I just, I'm, I'm wanting to do the very best I can every, every time, everything that I touch. If somebody sees it and, and it's got my name on it, um, I need it to be the best reflection mm-hmm. of, of my values. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. and you, uh, uh, are you emotional about what you do? Emotional about Emotional. what I do. Do you? Um, <laughs> Am I passionate? I, many of my many of my decisions, uh, and the reason why I think I'm the manager that I am is because I'm unemotional about it. Doesn't mean that I'm not passionate about getting the job done correctly or emotional about getting the job done correctly. It just means that when the decision has to be made, it's made without any animus that I might have towards somebody else or towards the project or that customer never is happy and no matter how much I do for I mean, all this stuff I've listened to for for 30 years, I was like, I don't know. I say to my wife all the time, I don't understand how people are like that. I don't. Where does that come from? What do you, the customer pays you to do that? You know, so that sort of emotion that can leak into your performance. You know, before you even had finished your whole sentence, I I was going to say, I I don't, I actually tell my people, take emotion out of this, what you got to do and what you're looking for and how you're going to respond to some things, right? So take the emotion out of it and just, you know, uh, whether it's, I, I tell my team when they have to deal with another department, and maybe sometimes they get some flack or things like that. I'm like, you need to take the emotion out of it and guide them. You're the driver. You guide them to where you want them to go. But you can only do that if you take the emotion out of it. Because then that gives them a comfortable level, right? So, okay, now they're not going to be petty with me or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, even if you're in the right, um, just take the emotion out of it and say, let's just move this direction. And you drive that. And you're the bigger person. You're the better person. And things will happen for you. The results will come. 